What's happening, everybody? Amp Capo here, Black Adonis Games. Man, we are back in Lyra, and um, I have a little treat for you guys here. I actually have a build, so I did build out here, and we have a full size map. So let's just go ahead and go in. Um, I will be doing a video on all this later on. I'm doing some frame testing, and I really can't run Afterburner inside the engine, so. I actually have six characters. Um, you can't choose the characters yet. It's just random right now. Um, and you actually get a lobby like waiting uh, here, which is pretty cool because you don't really see this when you're playing it inside of the uh, engine. So this is pretty cool. It's just a run around like you get in the beginning of, of most of these games. You get to run around and shoot and stuff for a second. But as you guys can see, the map is pretty good size. Um, most of the characters' hands are correct now. There are still a couple of characters that their hands are having some issues, but not very many. Um, I really wanted to test how this would uh, function under pressure. As you can see, I have some of the buildings from the city, uh, UE5 city kit in here so um th and this is a 20 by 17 full scale landscape so this is not a small landscape by far and it is not fully decorated but it's decorated pretty pretty good and you can see we're down in the 40s for frames and um everything is not completely optimized i'm sure to the fullest yet um like the landscape i'm not even using the uh i'm not using the um world partition so i'm not even using that right now so you know that's what i mean like everything's not completely optimized i think if i was using world partition this probably would uh, all run a little bit faster than this um it does have its moments where it goes up but since i'm recording the frames are really lower um just being honest with you guys it runs at about 50 to 55 so just recording i'm probably losing really close to 10 frames which is crazy but i am fall off the edge either man but yeah it works pretty good man hitting them with grenades man it's not even doing nothing to them all right now i got one of them I'll try to get out of there before I think there's another one coming alive over there but this is basically a zone takeover so that's what we're doing here and as you can see like i said man it's pretty good uh size landscape it's all legit um it's all um active so i could run over that bridge that you saw over there all of that you go here i got a little fill up area here um i am having some problems with painting uh the landscape it seems like it's not painting over the foliage like you can when you are in uh, unreal engine 4 you just go in and you know you pick a layer when you paint you paint over the other layer for some reason it's not doing it here it's not painting over the layer but as you can see the characters look really good um the heaviest area seems to be here between these around these buildings where the frames get the lowest but they still look pretty good i mean all being considered what i have going on here um i do want to try to add more characters my next step is going to be to try to get maybe like five when I say five, like maybe, yeah, that could be cool. Five characters per team, but at least three uh, per team and then be able to get uh, squeeze and then maybe another two teams on here. But yeah, it plays pretty good, man. And the characters randomize, except this guy, he doesn't. Every time they respawn, so you'll see the color. Colors are going to be different on the characters because I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm putting things together slowly. Um, like I said, guys, I'm really thinking of making this be a front end for the lesser god. So that way I get the multiplayer uh, DLC add-ons. And that's what I'll use this for because, you know, my game is not uh, this style of gameplay. It's a full, you know action adventure game but this would be a nice uh something to, like i said for a dlc so that uh people can play with the characters that are in the game and uh, use them in combat you know the scenario y'all know how we do it um but that's kind of more of what i was thinking of 
uh, when I saw this, I'm definitely not going to use it for my entire game, but I, I am going to build an entire game in it, a DLC in this, and then use the front end as well. While wow, we got defeated, <laughs> while I'm talking to y'all, man, I got beat. Um, anyway, um, it plays really well. Um, the difference in here also is that I don't have this map assigned in the menu so I can still go out into the main menu and go back and play the other levels that are uh, in the actual kit you still have pause and functions in pause so you still have everything you know here which is really cool oh, somebody's at me trying to take this little spot over oh man wait a minute we're in the beginning of the game yet we're still in the countdown I'm thinking I'm in the game but see, that's what I mean, guys. This just really looks nice. Um, everything looks good. Um, I played with the lighting a little bit, so you know, I, I got that to look pretty okay. I added some fog and um, other stuff. Um, I was thinking of, um, and I, I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. Um, have uh, you know the whole ring closing thing, you know? But just to show you guys that, yeah, you could definitely do something larger scale with this. And once I get a little bit better with the system and understand it more, um, I will probably because all of these things have are using nanite, nanite right now. So like this bridge, I can literally walk all the way across this bridge. This is a full scale world and it's pretty good size it's pretty good size so um that being said this uh these frames look pretty good you know like i said because this is all here this is legit wow that was crazy you see how it made her f she flew for like a long period of time i don't understand why she did it in this one area she was flying and all of a sudden she flew for like a really long time it was weird But I'm so far away, uh, we're definitely going to lose if I don't get down there and help. But I just want to show you guys that I could go all the way you know, across that bridge and keep going. This is a legit map. The whole thing I said map. Map. This is a legit map. And um, I will show you guys the whole map uh, in the tutorial when I show kind of what I had to go through to get here. But so far, so good. It looks really good. Um, frame rate could stand to be a little better, but like I said, this is one big map. There is nothing being chopped up here. So for it to even be running this good is, it's it's saying a lot. It's saying a lot, um, especially for the Lumina Nanite. Also, a lot of this is instanced mesh, so it's not, there's only a little bit of mesh in here that is actually being, uh, that it's actually mesh. The rest of it is just all being instant, so. And like I said, I think if I had a lot more characters on here, there'd be a lot more action. It's, and then I got the, the the goals set pretty far apart too. So, you know, if you had teams of maybe like five people on each team and maybe uh, three, four teams on a level this size, it would be pretty awesome. It would be pretty awesome. Um, but the AI worked very well. Um, they do what they're supposed to do. Over here, I'm trying to stay over far enough to where they might not see me. They're really good, though, man. They usually they usually catch you, man. Got one. get this one back up maybe i actually get a win while i'm on here with y'all all right we holding all three right now so that's good i think we're gonna get this one but yeah guys look at this man this all plays awesome and it does if i do if i fall off the edge here yeah i will definitely die the character will fall into death but I am actually trying to win, man, because I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. I've rarely won this since I put it in. Oh, man, I'm falling. And there it is. So. So it looks really good, man. I'm I'm very impressed with it. It looks like we're about to take this W, man. <laughs> we're about to take this W. It's a wrap. All right. Victorious, finally, man. And as you can see, the characters look really good, really clean, man. Um, everything looks amazing. 
I do want to show you guys there, you can see the memory usage and things like that. Um, I'm using a 1660 Ti, and here we go, I got a new character. Um, this is one of the ones where the hands are pretty bad, so I got to go in and figure that out. And that's going to be probably a per character adjustment that I'll have to make with the weaponry um, to figure that situation out. But um, right now I'm still just waiting for other players. And so I really like this, man. This is so professional, man. The way that they have this, this is so AAA ready already, you know. Um, <clears throat> just add more moves, add more, you know, characters, add the selection process, loadouts, things like that. Um, it'll be pretty amazing. And um, I will probably have a uh, drop in. I mean, come on, guys. We know that's what it's all about, man. I'll probably have the characters drop in from somewhere. And you can kind of choose a location to fall. I mean, you know, you know the style of game this is. I don't want this to just be only this. I mean, we do have elimination too. I just set this one up for uh, this demonstration, but yeah, there's elimination as well. <laughs> got me man i was over there trying to sneak man i thought i was gonna get that power that level up but yeah as you can see here man i have a lot of good random stuff going on so the characters look really good man i'm i'm impressed with it man the fog everything looks pretty good man i still got a little work to do on the lighting but overall man i'm pretty impressed with it um i'm gonna go ahead and pause out i'm gonna go to quick game so you guys can see that that map only pops up when i first start the game i haven't embedded it in the actual game yet so if i leave out of this and i go back here and i say i want to play it's going to go back to the default here um i'm going to set it up so that one of these um is instead of saying start a game or whatever i'm going to have maybe one more and have one be like for the actual you know have different maps that you could select from i guess that's what i'm trying to get at have different maps that you could select from now you see now in this area that the hand on his gun looks a lot better so these are things that i'm noticing too that it depends on the situation um sometimes it seems like it's uh, when i'm playing and i'm not in the engine his hands look at this his hands look amazing here but sometimes you're going to see that it loads and his hands are not right his hands are not going to be right so So now we're actually in game, and as you can see, we're just in the regular game again. Um, I do have all the characters still. Um, they spawn in no matter which game you're playing. Um, but I do prefer the open world, just being real. But I just wanted to show you guys that all the characters are here, and um, the other levels are still available. I just don't have a way to get to that main level again. Um, as you can see, this level is playing at about 50 here, but it actually plays at 60. I've played it a bunch of times at 60. It's just that I'm recording, and um, for some reason, it really drops my frames pretty low, man. It drops my frames down to about 10 frames, so... So... got a he really good headset so I can really hear that she's right there it's pretty neat all right and I'm getting quiet guys because I'm trying to concentrate and listen in the headset and see how the footsteps and things like that are oh but that's it guys that's what i got man um i will be doing a video on how i got the the full scale map into the project and um just like i said all the things that i went through um i'm gonna go ahead and quit now everything works great guys i'm very impressed with it man amp capo black adonis games man i want to thank all the people who have subscribed to the channel since the last time man i really appreciate how y'all been blowing up the, the channel for me man um I've been working hard, so it makes me feel good, man, to 
have these people subscribing and everybody stopping by to check out what I'm doing, man. I will have a lot more content on this, especially uh, this Lyra uh, game development system here inside Unreal Engine 5, man. The only place you're going to get it, Unreal Engine 5. Facts. All right, man. Amcapo Black Adonis Games, man. I'm out.